Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading Virgo. Let's see what messages will show up for you Virgo. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Virgo, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Okay. You are very intuitive at the moment Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. That's right. Exercise. Maybe you're making, you know, um, New Year's resolution kind of, you know, plans. Uh, and you intuitively th feel that, you know, there is a need uh, to make some adjustments when it comes to lifestyle. For some of you, you might be into fitness, you like to attend gym, which is great. You know, I feel that if that's the case, it gives you some sort of kind of form of harmony. You really like it, you feel calm, you feel at peace. There is some sort of kind of inner Zen energy also attached to it. it gives you like a peaceful mind. Okay, so something here is some sort of answers are within reach. Listen to your, um, listen to your inner voice. Okay, there is a need for you, Virgo, or it's I would say it's advisable for you to reflect with regards to a certain situation that might require you are making a significant decision, because with the crossroads we have these choices and different options therefore it might be a case that you are at the crossroads and you feel that you need to at some point to make a decision and that decision might have something to do with someone who has very very big ego okay this person here doesn't want to let you go They are very insecure. Their actions are, you know, they are operating from the place of fear. This is someone who might be quite materialistic. I feel that at some point, maybe you made a decision to kind of distance yourself from them, especially, especially with these shoes, or sneakers or, or trainers. It's like walking away, right, from something. At the moment, it might be a case that you don't want to deal with it, with the crossroads. It's like you are, mm, 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 I don't want to deal with it. It's been too much. You know, recently I've had so much on my plate and I don't really want to deal with that situation anymore. That's why, you know, you might feel, you, for some of you, you might feel, you might find your peace, uh, you know, at the gym or fitness might have this kind of healing energy. Uh, for you, I see you kind of a changing a lifestyle. Yeah, more. It's like a mm, more being in 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 tune with your own needs. This this lifestyle changes. It feels like you going to or you are starting making a healthy choices, putting yourself first. We have energy of peace. Yeah, harmony, harmony. Inner Zen. I see you being very kind of balanced, very calm when it comes to specific matters and really kind of listening to your intuition. At the bottom of the deck we have a nature. So yes, for some of you, you might be into uh, um, walking, you like spending time outside, that might kind of give you that inner peace, that inner zen. You are into environment as well. For some of you, I'm seeing you spending time just, you know, it might be a cabin in the woods or, you know, um, you, you will decide to maybe even uh, move your current place of residence to be more remote, to be more with nature. I feel that I'm, I'm connecting here with Virgo, who is very... Um, very into nature very kind of you feel that mother earth 
energy, which is incredibly healing and profound, very beautiful energy. You are surrounded by very beautiful energy. But we have someone here who wants to come with this energy, right? But with the crossroads, at the moment I feel, uh oh, I'm quite selective. I know how it looks like. I've been there, I've seen it. I don't know if I'm fully open for this for this person and for this or to welcome this energy once again but let's see let's see Virgo yeah very intuitive very intuitive it's important to listen to your inner voice because it's guiding you in the right direction we have the lover's first card for you Virgo Gemini energy love relationships Decisions, important, significant decisions about your love life, will of fortune. My gosh, something here is fated, destined. Two of Wands, very interesting. Six of Swords, mm -hmm. makes sense. Show us what's going on in Virgo's life. We have Eight of Wands. I'm seeing travel. There I go. Travel. Oh my gosh, look, we have the world. Big, 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 big time. Yeah. I feel that, you know, um, for some of you, you might, you might have been planning six of cups. Wow, at the bottom of the deck. You might be planning for a long time with the Knight of Pentacles, uh, a certain move, a significant move. That move also can uh, be about you uh, moving, changing your current place of residence, moving abroad even, or moving into another state or different town. But with Wheel of Fortune, the world, it's, it's like a long distance move. For some of you here, I have to say, uh, Virgo, that you might be in a long distance relationship here with someone. We have the lovers, we have the will of fortune, we have the world, we have a six of swords. And eight, eight of, of, of wands also represents that sort of kind of action, travel, trips. Yeah, I feel that there is someone, if you are not in a relationship with this person, it might be a case that you are in touch with someone who is in a different state or maybe from a different country even. And this is very interesting take on the two of pet two of wands because normally we have a man standing and looking on the horizon and we have these two wands there next to him in here he is holding one wand he he holds the, the world but it will we have the the, um, the birds here coming and giving you this wand and birds represents uh, conversations you know communication with those one want it's like a double confirmation that some sort of kind of conversation for some of you that you might be waiting for a long time it's coming in and it will make you feel really really nice I feel that there is a big attraction here between the, the two of you and it might be a case that you are in a constant communication with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands here with the Lover's card. Because without a doubt, there is someone here who you felt, who you feel very strong. Maybe you develop a very strong connection. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like it's destined. You might be dealing with the fixed sign, with the world and with the Wheel of Fortune. We have Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. With this Wheel of Fortune, sometimes we can also see Sagittarius. With the, will, with, with the world, it's, it's the same fixed energy. Yeah, I'm seeing you being in touch with someone from a different country, different city, long-term relationship here. Mm -hmm. And it might be a case that you are planning or they are planning here to kind of be closer to you. or And it's been taking a long time because it needs like a, like a practical plan. But, wow. That is a very strong message. 
and for sure that's someone's message that you might be in touch from someone you have feelings for this person i can tell you here that those feelings are mutual we have a six of cups with the lovers and the wheel of fortune this is a very strong soul connection very strong soulmate energy and it feels that this person feels the same way about you you have someone here who who is developing feelings for you Virgo who wants to be in touch constantly with you and actually to be closer to you because it feels like you know that energy of 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 uh, physical distance um, you know it's with the knight of pentacles here it's like they I feel that you know even if it wasn't maybe you haven't spoken about it but um, subconsciously is there and wants to be changed in order for you to be close to each other you know mm. but I see travel 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 someone traveling to meet someone For some of you, it might be a case that you renew contact with someone from your past. Okay? Virgo, with the Six of Cups, because this is an energy of the past. Someone that we've known or for a long time, or someone from our childhood, like a childhood friend, or someone with whom you might we might have history with. And it feels like, Virgo, uh, it feels like you are here in touch with this person or very soon you will be that's for some of you it won't resonate with all of you but overall I'm seeing you uh, developing feelings for someone and this person here uh, feels the same way they want to be closer to you show me the past For Virgo, we have a Five of Swords, we have Temperance, and we have Hermit. I feel that in the past you've experienced uh, yeah, the Tower. You've experienced some sort of form of manipulation from someone uh, that you really trust. It's like this person betrayed your trust, they played mind games and I feel that at some point they kind of cornered you with something here and it feels like, you know, it was so draining and you kind of, you know what, I give up, I don't want to deal with it anymore. And I feel that you, this person here caused the tower moment, uh, it, it was unexpected, it caused chaos or maybe you made the decision you know, and it was decision out of the blue, meaning this person didn't expect that you actually will make that decision. And it was quite shocking, unexpected, out of the blue, you know. But also uh, with the tower, tower holds this energy of enlightenment and liberation, freedom from, um, for instance, uh, false beliefs, for kind of uh, unhealthy habits. Because tower can be very isolating, right? Mm -hmm. Something irrespective of who, who, who caused the tower moment, I'm getting very strongly that uh, it brought enlightenment, it brought that kind of energy of liberation, being free, and it was caused purely because someone here was un 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 unfair or they hold a secret, or oh, they played mind games, they lied, they used manipulation on purpose. With the temperance and the hermit, I feel that you've went within. And it, and it gives me that kind of energy of I've learned my lesson. I, I will not uh, dismiss the red flags here. Uh, if I come across you know something similar in the future it's it's you gain so much wisdom uh, and i feel that yes it felt like a very very um challenging lesson 
uh, and with the temperance it's 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 like you you healed from it and i feel that you withdraw your energy for some of you i feel that immediately when this tower moment uh, occurred you kind of put a very very strong barrier very strong wall and you've detached yourself in all by going within um, being in the hermit mode thinking about a cert this matter also reevaluating certain situations or plans in your life and by doing this you healed from the situation with the temperance and that's your energy Sagittarius did I say that's your energy Sagittarius wow you, you might have rising Sagittarius or cross watcher is watching <laughs> can be a case this reading is for Virgo of course but oof, you might be dealing with Sagittarius indeed but you are healing you are healing and and you just now you know in that kind of it's like a you are you know things you know you know certain things you know now how to kind of uh how to deal with certain situations you've healed from this this matter and it's all because you took time in order to heal and also to think about the situation but it doesn't doesn't it doesn't mean that something or someone here brought enormous amount of of dissatisfaction and disappointment emotional disappointment could you please show me near future for Virgo please show me near future for Virgo near future for Virgo please near future for Virgo please we have a nine of pentacles hierophant taurus energy king of wands in the near future someone here will make themselves known that they no longer want to be single they want relationship with you and i feel with the six of wands it will make you very 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 happy you might be dealing indeed with the fire sign that's why sagittarius came very quite strongly here but i'm seeing here in the near future uh, someone here who is single or who feels single or who've been quite non-committal in the past wants to have a higher level of commitment this king of wands is very kind of determined determined that he's very creative he's very ambitious he he wants this and he wants ultimate success when it comes to this connection you have someone here who wants to have a successful relationship with you virgo and they will make themselves known for some of you you can expect here some sort of um uh, recognition success a feeling of being praised and victorious acknowledgement um, with regards to your work related situation it might be a case that uh, for some of you Virgo you have your own business with the nine of Pentacles and you've been waiting for some time for this business to kind of flourish into something nicer or more profitable I'm getting with the Hierophant and the King of Wands especially with the six of Wands uh, you can expect success and kind of uh, it will give you an op opportunity to establish your position with the Hierophant. If, if, you, if, you, uh, if it's not that kind of a work-related situation, I can see that either way you can expect here some sort of recognition, recognition from the higher authorities for your dedication and hard work also something to do with the planning that you are very skillful very talented when it comes to this very kind of you have analytical mind uh, very good with something 
to do with uh, with with risk something like this is showing up um, and I feel that uh, overall uh, you might expect maybe some sort of like extra bonus or something of this kind but with the nine of Pentacles it will it will um, it's like a being in a position uh, of having more money in order to kind of uh, spend the, the, those funds on you or you know in general on, on, on something that makes you happy like you know like I don't know buying a, uh, let's say um, booking holidays or um, going to spa <laughs> or you know you have more money to see your favorite um, musical something like this it's just like a something that makes us happy okay this is very very nice let's show us love life for Virgo could you please show us love life for Virgo love life show me love life for Virgo eight of souls magician your energy also Gemini's energy mm. okay queen of wands we have a king and queen of wands so indeed there is some sort of kind of connection very strong soul connection hmm. yeah this is a match love life we have eight of swords magician and three of wands yeah it might be a case that for some time you felt stuck or person um, who with whom you develop a certain connection here felt stuck because of the circumstances maybe because of of a distance right it's like that kind of puts some sort of uh, barriers or limitation with regards to for instance being together or you know meeting up together frequently something like this however what I can tell you here um, Virgo is that things going to change because I feel that both of you manifesting something incredibly powerful and this three of wands you manifesting essentially a change this three of wands here it's it's this it's a, a <laughs> it's an arrival I see it that way because three of wands it's uh, waiting for this ship that goal that that dream to arrive and you can see it on the horizon and something here will change in your love life and you're manifesting it and I feel that equally if you met someone or if you are in a long distance relationship with this person this person is manifesting it as well because I feel that both of you, you don't want to feel stuck anymore. That's why we have magician. That's why there is an action. Action. Action taken. Action. My magician is... It's, me as a reader, it's my personal opinion based on experience, a very action-orientated card. And magician always reminds us that there is absolutely... Uh, you can achieve absolutely everything. Because you possess all the tools to make it happen for yourself and you see the gesture the gesture right the gesture I gesture I think that's how you should say it. it's like he's manifesting this is what I want right but he's making action it's not only wishful thinking mm -mm -mm. something here will change and it might be a case that equally both of you will make a certain decision if you resonate with this long distance relationship and um, it feels like two people here will meet up suddenly and will have a chance to be closer and to be with each other and with the queen of wands and the king of wands i have here as well you share a very strong soul connection with this person it's like your uh, 
it's like you understand each other very very nice expect a positive change positive change in your love life Virgo so let's see outcome for the near future could you please show me the outcome for the near future we have the Empress beautiful good luck expansion growth uh, dreams coming true being in a very good position when it comes to money and in life in general outcome for the near future for Virgo please outcome for the near future for Virgo please we have a seven of swords we have a knight of swords and we have chariot so overall victory I have Cancerian energy with this chariot as well okay so in the immediate future <laughs> in the immediate future Virgo you have the Empress uh, you have seven of swords and you have a knight of swords someone here wants to rush in someone wants to chase you the problem is this is someone who is sneaky who cannot be trusted and i feel they lied to you and they betrayed your trust the thing about this person is that they see you now being in this beautiful empress energy male female please take it how it resonates is an energy meaning you doing very well it feels like you are gaining a lot of attention this person is aware of that it's like you are in a good place and this person feels that you are leaving them behind it might be a case that this is like an ex or someone with whom you you know you've known something happened between the two of you they want to chase you but this is someone who wants to sneak in they betrayed your trust now they want to you know chase you they want to be next to you they seeing you kind of maybe you know maybe you had a, like a, this energy of glow up um maybe you've changed something about your appearance but there is something about your looks this person sees you incredibly attractive very beautiful very handsome very intelligent someone who has it all and they want to be in your energy but they come in with the seven of swords it feels like they cannot be trusted because what they projecting is this energy and this is energy of being two-faced being sneaky sometimes even taking advantage of someone's good nature taking um, someone for granted and also um, mm, taking someone else's kindness for weakness but i'm seeing this person trying to reach out i feel this is someone who will who will compliment your looks they will maybe they will send a message or something like this or maybe you will meet them on the street who knows it might be a case or i'm seeing also very specifically for some of you like some sort of a music event but um yeah they will chase you they will chase you they will just try to be all you know around you they will compliment you they will for instance say, oh would you like something to drink or oh yes where are you going oh i'll be at the same time you know maybe we can meet up or spend this time together oh, something like this but i don't see this person's intentions being particularly pure with the seven of swords this is someone who already betrayed your trust and you know sadly they coming with the same energy so there is something here to kind of uh, take into consideration when you come across some someone like this here Virgo okay with the chariot as an overall energy uh, you can expect being successful successful in many areas of your life this is a card of triumph having that sense of direction knowing exactly what to do and also card of travel again we have probably all the cards that might signify you know traveling uh trip you know long term this long distance relationship 
but um, overall as we are looking at chariot this is a card of victory being victorious and uh, just knowing exactly what you want so expect a very very positive outcome with regards to many areas of your life Virgo I'll leave it here thank you so 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 very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you Virgo, ha ha Virgo have a fantastic and wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me take care bye